Kingdom Hearts 2 starts off with this blonde haired dude called Rox. Ah! Roxas is a bit of an emo. You see that wristband? It so covers up the scars. So anyway, freaky shit starts happening to Roxas, and I don't mean puberty. Stuff goes missing, people keep seeing stuff, a guy with red hair tries to molest him a couple of times, and some anorexic dudes in white jumpsuits do some freaky aerobics. Roxas responds in the only way a Kingdom Hearts character can. He finds a giant key and starts whacking people with it. Then he gets a fangirl and the guy with the belt on his face gets jealous. I don't know. Anyway, so you find out that Roxas is some freaky copy of Sora because Square Enix could not be fucked coming up with a new main character. So he and Sora merge and Sora takes over. Yay, and Roxas is never mentioned again. <laughs> So anyway, Sora shops for a new outfit and a sweet ride, has an emo fit, and carries on with the walking around the worlds, beating up innocent heartless and stealing their lunch money. He also looks for Riku too, because he finally came out of the closet and wants to be butt pirates with Riku. Forget that there was ever a redhead broad called Kairi, okay? Along the way, Sora discovers that there's this stripper group called Organization 13, or Orgy 13, led by none other than Mansex, who is a reincarnation of the bad guy from Kingdom Hearts 1, Ansem. Square really suck at making up new main characters. Anyway, so even though Sora's a closet gay, he decides to go and butcher the entire Orgy because he was a homophobe. Or because they were evil or had prettier hair than him or something, I don't know. After what took me almost 50 hours of gameplay, Sora's fanboy powers really shine through and he manages to hunt Riku down. Sora's like, yay, now we can be best buddies forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And Riku's like, oh god, I never wanted to see you again, you fucking freak. But then Sora starts to cry like the little bitch he is, and crying is blackmail, so Riku gives in, turns back into his pretty form, and decides to let Sora molest him a little. Together they torture and murder Mansex, Sora touches Riku's butt, and they sit on the beach for a while. Then someone had the bright idea of remembering the other member of the terrible trio, and Riku magically find, finds Kairi's forgotten hash dash, and the two get so high they float back to Destiny Islands, where Kairi is ready to beat the shit out of them both for stealing her stash. And that is the end of Kingdom Hearts 2.